Was he? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. You've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is saint High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good night, sir. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Hello, sir. Champagne, sir? How do you do? Good evening, sir. I'll play your phone today. You okay? Oh, my lord. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, Algin and Ross. Hello. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, but me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Sir. You're French, sir. Sort of. Original. I'm from Quebec, but I left many moons ago. And you, oh. <laughs> No. I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. A banker? An investment banker. You're the fellows who never lend me money when I need it. And when I've got too much, try to lend me more. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. Lafon? Originally furs. But now all sorts. Lumber, leather... Even maple syrup. <laughs> My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. And who do you bank with? Oh, the usual bunch of clowns in New York. Do you bank with anyone in the south? 
Not one I particularly like. Well, have you considered Lemoyne National Bank? Oh, I need a big bank, sir. We borrow a lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Some nervous small town bank could finish us in a bad small year. Small town? <laughs> We handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash, and we help finance half the reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients, and we love cash. Our branch alone here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country outside Wall Street and San Francisco. Well, perhaps we could discuss it further one day, Mr. Knightley. When it comes to bankers, I drive a hard bargain, but I'm very fair in business. I would at least like the opportunity to show you our business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my fiancé. Of course. And congratulations. What are you trying to do here? A wonderful thing. It could be interesting. I'll keep investigating. What a loathsome selection of humanity. How's your evening going? Met some interesting people. What about you? Did you speak to the mayor? You still look a little. Well, look a little harder. Camilla <laughs> McClaire, oh, where? Can I help you, sir? Get back, why? You You always seem I try. Mostly I fail, but I try. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Wasp, he's the finest milliner in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. Don't you think? What I don't quite understand. Well, you are not, it would seem, the only one. I was in the army once. Good for you. What do you do now? Well, I, I'm not quite to... Okay. I'm an American. Uh, yes, but what do you do? Oh, uh, well, I'm in between jobs at the moment. Oh, of course. Of course. You shall be too, sir, if you don't sharpen up your morality. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying. Well, try harder. Much harder. But what would you like me to do? To hit the mayor myself? Impudence. I see you still got that. But it takes more than a steady line and insults to succeed in newspapers. At least in mine. Good evening. Prick. How do you do? Hello. How do you do? Hi there. How do you do? So hard these days to find men of true morals. Especially in journalism. Indeed, it is. <laughs> and you certainly won't find many here. How do you think they got oh. so rich? Well, anyway, <laughs> enjoy your evening. What in God's name is wrong with you? Je vous salue. You're walking away from history, you fool! Women and men both deserve to decide the future. Darling. This is meant to be the land of ah, Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know what? Great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, I used to be a great beauty. And... An even greater wit. For God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. 
What a total bastard it is, huh? Then again, I always loved bastards. The real ones, I mean. <laughs> Wedlock. Hugely overrated. I tried it enough. Well, I mean, I tried both. You know, bastards and marriage. I even married a bastard. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh my god. I should not have got up this morning. I, I, I need to go and sit down and have a little rest. I'm just gonna... Is anybody listening to me? Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me. I mean, modern art is all very well, but my daughter could do better. Oh, you're not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. That man may be stronger than me, but he's got all the inside of a bullfrog. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Only the most foolish of women would fall for his nonsense. Well, that's quite unfair. I found him delightful. In that French sort of way. He reminds me of someone in a book by Balzac. He reminded me of a hobgoblin. A spellcaster. You're very unkind, Marie. I am honest. Where is that waiter? I need more champagne. Oh, me too. How is your husband, Dolores? I hear he is my... Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hell Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, I don't live here. I was here for the poker. Oh, you play? Uh, it's, um, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. <laughs> <laughs> Not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my vice is between me and my maker. I keep winning. Every gambler says that, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> yes, I know, but like I said, the next big tournament, which I will not be attending, is for a game too rich for my blood. I may be a knave, but I am a sensible knave. That's so? Oh, sure, I'm not a wealthy man. I run a prison. The old riverboat tournaments are for card so? sharks and rich fools. A really big stakes game attracts oil men and such, like, yeah, from all over. My pockets are not deep enough for that. <laughs> you are a wise man. Mm. I'm a conservative man, at least. The fact is, since the war, the government has done an awful job of preserving law and order, Mr. Jameson. Mm. Well, I agree, Major. Well, at my prison, we are doing the best to remedy that failure. You know, my friend works in the Caribbean. He faces real rebellion. If we don't act decisively, we will endure the same here in all of this. All of these garden parties and civility, they will be doomed. I believe in civilizing the masses, sir. But the first order of civilization is order, law, and order. I agree. Without law and order, we will have anarchy. But with too much law and order, won't we have dictatorship or worse? <laughs> Monarchy. The law should be a dictator. That is the American way. I thought the American idea was liberty. <laughs> sure. Liberty under the law. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> Major Crowley, Mr. Chambers, I must go speak to someone for a second. What a vulgar toad of a man. Did you hear him back there? The law should be a dictator? I wasn't really listening. Lucky for you. And as for that other fellow, Featherstone Chambers, what a windbag he is. He did seem full of himself. <laughs> anyway.
Je viens vous saluer. Bonjour. The truth is, since the war, the country's doomed itself. I disagree. The war? The war was 30 years ago. I was just a boy. And since then, we have fought more wars. And we will fight more again. Now, the country tore itself apart. I, and what do you think, sir? I think war is a fine way of thinning the herd. <laughs> exactly. This man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. Sometimes, sir, the innocent are the damned. Enjoy your evening. I must go see my wife. Good evening. Hi there. How are you? Thank you again, my fellow adventurer. And please, do pay me a visit at my atelier. I'll try to. Well, enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay away from the nuts would be my advice. Good day, sir. How was the show? I heard you went. Oh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Oh, would you like tickets? What? This cabaret show at the Theater Ralua. It's jolly fun. Hello there. Hmm? Oh, sure. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hello? It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Let's say you and me cool off. Oh, hello. Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. 
Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Moose, through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? 
Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Uh.